Hi everyone. Welcome to the video tutorial on how to create an API key with the type dashboard. Previously, we created a tutorial on how to create an API. So if you haven't seen that one, go check it out. We'll be using the same API as an example for this tutorial. Let's go to the dashboard and edit our API definition. Go to the very bottom where the authentication is defined and let's change that from open to authentication token. Now this is one of the simplest forms for authentication. We have a number of different configuration options. By default, it will check the header for a token. Some of the settings as well, if you want to use them. I'm gonna leave this at standard for now and just click on update. Confirm that you want to update the API. Right, so the API has been successfully updated. What this means is that if we go back to Postman and try sending a request, it is essentially going to fail. Okay, so here we get a 401 unauthorized error and a message saying the authorization field is missing. So to fix this, we need to add a key. Let's now go back to the dashboard and click on keys under system management. Click on add key. Okay. Now there are a lot of settings in here, but let's just focus on what we need right now, which is access rights. Click on it and let's just select pet store just to add it. You can change the usage quota if you want, but it's minus one by default so that it's set to unlimited. Right, so let's just go ahead and create that. So what we get here is the key. Let's go ahead and copy that to our clipboard. Now if you go back to Postman, we can essentially use the key here to do that, let's click on headers and add the authorization key along with the value that you just copied to your clipboard. Now, we're ready to send the request. Let's see if that works. Great, so we have access again. So that's been a short demo on how to create an API key. Thanks for watching.